Today is a Costco Shop With Me video. Come along and meander through the stores, see what's new, get some groceries, and as always, since I am a former employee of Costco, I will add in any tips or tricks along the way. Let's go. Right when you walk in, there is $40 off this Keurig coffee maker, along with a variety of coffees. They already have the Starbucks holiday blend of the Keurig K-Cup, $72 for $34. For $22, they have a four-pack of these Pendleton mugs. I personally like kind of kitschy I don't know jokey lame mugs so I wouldn't get these but if you want something cohesive at like your cabin or something for $22 this fits the cabin look oh and Stanley Utah moms are gonna get excited about this for $24 they have either green or this white Stanley Pendleton vacuum bottle this is actually really cute for $24 too I feel like this is a great giftable item for $11 they have a variety of harvest pillows you can see all the designs down there they are kind of chenille have some embroidery on them and bonus if your kids use your pillows as giant napkins like mine do the covers zip off so that you can machine wash them for $11 these Sherpa fleece blankets are really nice and soft I think they're a great value my mom actually got my four year old this one specifically and I thought it was so nice but I don't know he's in the stage where he doesn't want to be a baby and he said this was a baby blanket so just beware who you're buying it for but if they don't care about being a baby they're so soft and so nice another cozy throw blanket this is $22 they have a Pendleton twin size blankets and yep they're only in the twin size they have the blue and the white I personally just love the Pendleton design on the white background we got some kitchen and bath stuff here but it doesn't look like any of this is on sale right now oh for $28 we got this six pack of bath towels here for our Airbnb and they have worked out famously I mean, <laughs> I'm gonna say it now. I'm just gonna say it now. If you watched my last week's video, you know there's some going down in my life and full transparency, I'm just gonna say it. I'm just gonna put it out there. I am separated from my husband. Who I guess, I guess is technically still my husband because I'm not divorced yet, but soon to not be husband. I'm coping y'all. Anyways, look at these rugs, $40 off, $120 and they are soft and plush and come in a few cool designs. For $75, we saw these Harvest Pumpkins last time. I feel like they're overpriced for what they are. They're just plastic. And then for $55, we have these Harvest Wreaths here. Overall, I feel like I personally get my home decor from Home Goods, Target. This seems all very expensive for what it is, personal opinion. Looking at some electronics now because I am losing some of these in the divorce, but I need to get a new TV. I do not have a large big screen TV anymore. Something I always look for when I am looking for TVs is I look for this sign right here, especially now with everything being all on me in my household. Whatever TV I end up getting, I know I am going to get it here at Costco, but I'm going to make sure whatever TV I get has this sign next to it because that means you get five years of total coverage at no additional cost. And I know if something bad is gonna happen at this moment in my life right now, it seems like it makes sense that it's gonna happen to me, so I need this insurance plan for myself. This is a really nice TV. The TV that I'm losing in the divorce is an OLED LG TV. This is quite out of my budget right now, but hopefully I can get something similar-ish to this. Anyways, enough about my life being in shambles. Let's keep looking at all this newness. This is a really nice large sectional couch for $2,200. It is fabric. It feels like a pretty sturdy fabric. Hopefully wouldn't be easy to stain. Nothing a little green Bissell couldn't handle. They still got the man cave couch for $300 off. Personal opinion, ugliest couch at Costco, but probably the most comfortable couch at Costco as well with pockets galore. Oh, and even like USB plugins and everything. And this is new for $500. It's a conversation double sofa chair and coffee table. And it has a really nice herringbone fabric on it that makes it look elevated and really nice for $500. Also for $500, this I love in a mudroom or something. It's a kind of light gray beigey color. So it would match in a lot of different homes. Has the soft clothes at the bottom. If you have two kids, 
This would be perfect for storing their shoes, backpacks, lunch boxes, everything, and looks so nice. This bed is new as well. It's $1,100 for the king and $900 for the queen. This storage here actually pulls out. Love a bed with storage. It's a nice basic white, so it can go with everything. Costco, I think, has great quality furniture. Whenever you're able to find it in store, it's a great price as well. I'm sure if you looked up this same exact bed on Costco.com, it's probably more expensive. I'll overlay a similar one on the screen from the Costco website. So if you're in the market for a bed, I would pick these up right away before they're gone. These crash couches here are super comfortable, $130. I own something similar to this, not this one specifically, but I can say that I recently stayed at my cousin's place and there were a lot of people there, no beds for everyone. So I ended up sleeping on this. I felt like I was sleeping in a dog bed or something, but it was really comfortable for $130. And just so you know, this outer cover zips off as well, so it can be machine washed. Okay, these big ass fans up there might be messing with the audio quality, but this is my all time favorite couch being carried here at Costco right now. And it is $200 off for $1,600. You guys, I'm, I'm not gonna keep bringing up my divorce, but I am getting to keep the furniture in the divorce, so I don't need to buy anything new. But if I did need to buy new stuff, this is 100% what I would get. It has storage right here. So many activities can go in there. And then it's just like a giant bed. How awesome is this? Again, it's cloth, it's not leather, so it would be a pain to clean, but nothing, once again, that a little green Bissell could not handle. For $100 less and 100 times less cool, they have this navy blue sectional couch for $1,500, $200 off. Once again, cloth, and once again, activities another new find for 160 they have this eight cube storage here that is faux wood it looks pretty realistic but definitely faux wood i personally would recommend if you want to get cube storage get the better homes and garden brand one from walmart i'll have it linked down below that's my favorite that i have at my house and it is cheaper than this by far <gasps> this is so so cool. I have never seen anything like this at Costco and it's only $340. How cool is this headboard here? You can adjust it up and down. It's, it's too far away. I can't reach it, but it looks like solid, nice wood. And depending on your style, like I think that is beautiful just in a minimalist room. For $700, they have a new TV console slash accent table. I feel like every four months, they rotate in a new accent table that looks somewhat similar to this. They slightly change up the color. I have a mint green one in my house. It doesn't have glass on it, but it has the Moroccan kind of design on it. They got some options over here too. This one is $750. And then for $700, I think this one is the prettiest. I love the design on this. It has the soft close feature, which is nice. And I mean, it looks, obviously it's probably not hand carved, but it has that aesthetic. 1380 for this kitchen table that has counter height chairs. I love this table. I've talked about it in other ones. I think this one might be a little bit different, different color, black and gray, but for 480, it backs up to the back of a couch so you can watch TV and have a nice table to eat and sit at at the same time. I feel like I'm at freaking Ashley Furniture right now. There's so much furniture, new furniture here. So I'm just trying to show it all. Oh, and this matches this desk right here for 450. Doesn't raise or lower. But if you have a den that you're trying to decorate, I feel like you can have your work desk there. You can have this backing up to the couch so that you can watch TV. It'll all look good and nice together. Then for $600, they don't have a setup, but on the box, you can see that it is a nice white vanity with mirror. Rugs here. This Calvin Klein one, I believe is new for 180. They have some pretty designs. They're low pile rugs, but no, they don't have like the sticky non-slip backs. So you would need to buy like a non-slip rug pad or something to put underneath of it. I personally am 
pretty cheap. So the rugs I get, again, I'll have them linked down below, but I get ones from Target that look similar to this, but have the non-slippy back. It's just so much easier to maintain and keep in place and not slip around when you have kids running all over. And if you need a large shag rug for $60 off right now, $240, there are four designs here, incredibly plush. I feel like my vacuum would suck all this up and probably ruin it. Heading to the hodgepodge aisles now, and there are some new finds for $21.49. They have ugh, these four packs of plastic weave baskets. You can find something very similar to this at Target. Off the top of my head, I don't know if the Target ones are more or less money. It's probably pretty in line, but yeah, four pack for $21.50. And it also comes in blue and gray. Then for $30, they have this multi-purpose storage unit. It comes with four storage boxes that sit in a tray for, sorry, so something's going down. Hold on. Okay, back to filming. I am not judging. I have been the parent with a child crying times three. Anyways, this can be an ammo box, utility, office supplies, crafts. I don't know if I would put my crafts in this. This is more of a manly thing, but it could be a good ammo or tackle box. In the office supply area, I bought this chore board last time I was here. It was $5 off. My only complaint is, look, it looks like they have it hung up on the wall here, but uh, you can't see. There's nothing to actually easily post it up onto the wall. And I'm not the most handy of people, but that is my only complaint. Otherwise, it has been working out famously for us. This is a new item for $43, the Ot Light Wellness Series, a healthier way to see. LED organizer and lamp. Oh, so it's an organizer here. You can rest your phone here. Oh, tap to brighten it up. But yeah, it rest your phone, hold office supplies. It's a nice little light, reduces glare and eye strain. It has a USB port on it and three different color temperatures. I mean, this is a pretty fancy light for $43. For the same exact price, they have this Ot light, the same brand and everything. It has more details up here. It has an actual screen. It lights up on the back. Even though it has all the information right there, aesthetically, I think this looks nicer. This is what I would prefer. Oh, this is cool. Do I need it? No. Am I going to get it right now? Yes. It is the right in store. If you've been following me on TikTok, Instagram, whatever, you know I am a fan of reducing visual clutter and this does exactly that it's a whiteboard on the top you can have it resting right below your computer and then you can store all your little clutter pieces and reduce the visual clutter I have a standing desk so I don't have like a pull-out drawer right in front of me all my crap just rests on my table so this this is gonna make my life better in the home organization area right now and oh they have one more it looks like of these three sprouts cube bins that are way more expensive at the container store and and ends in 97 cents that means it is on clearance star in the corner means it is going away for good so at this store it's 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 now or never or really never because all they have is the display unit left i guess now i'm gonna hate on something real quick this i'm going to hate on this real quick $13 new here at Costco, but these space saving laundry baskets have like a silicone here so you can flatten them completely or pop them up. And I got some of these and they're already all gone because the problem I would have is I would fill the basket to the top and then it would collapse down and everything would spill out. But all the clean stuff would go onto the floor or dirty stuff onto the floor. And like, I just, I need the basket to stay up if it's going to be a basket and this does not reliably stay up. So do not recommend. Another clearance item right here and Zen 97. I actually bought this last time I was here at Costco. I'm losing a lot of real random stuff in the divorce, you know, division of assets. And so far after a week of using this, I really like it, highly recommend. I pondered getting this instead for $180 because it is technically a lot cheaper than the Dyson that it is duping, but it's still $180 for a hair dryer. I felt bad even spending, you know, $60, $70 on a hair dryer. So I just went with the cheaper option and I'm very happy with it. I don't see any deals on food storage, but I want to call this out. It was new last time that I was here. Oh, it has little asterisks on it. So it looks like it's already going to be going away as soon as it sells out. But for $24, 
they have a two pack of these cereal OXO or OXO dispensers. And last time I was here, they were like seemingly broken on the top, which didn't make sense to me because I own these and they have worked out famously for me for years. And it looks like they have fixed them but I love that they just pop open so easily. You can pour out your cereals. It really does preserve and keep your cereal from going stale for so long. Is it a must have? Like, do you need to have this in order to have cereal for $24 for two? No, but if you love cereal and you don't like stale cereal, I recommend. Okay, I'm not a cool Utah mom. I don't know like the whole hullabaloo on Stanley mugs, but I just Googled them and holy crap, they are expensive. I mean, these obviously don't look quite as cool, but for $27, you can get two. These food jars were new last month. I love that they come with the foldable spoon and they are $5 off right now, $17 for a two pack. Another brand that I feel like is cool and a lot more affordable than Stanley, for $18 and it is going away, you can get a two pack of these 16 ounce thermo flasks. They have a couple different colors to choose from. They're only 16 ounces. I would, I would personally want something larger than that, but still very affordable. How quaint is this? For $25, you get three of these ceramic serving dishes or casserole dishes. They have different beautiful designs on them. I mean, if you wanna give off the Martha Stewart vibe, with just your serveware and I mean you don't even ha really have to make what's going in it you can just like repurpose like take out and put it in here and it would look beautiful and homemade and they have two colors this more pastel -y one and this I don't know more Taco Bell colored one I personally much prefer this pastel -y one. Oh, and then for $25 they have a matching set that would go along with this a serving set for your veggies and dips and they have two colors a gray and a green. So both of these really only match with the pastel -y set over here. The unbreakable, that's not actually like really unbreakable, but <laughs> unbreakable enough wine glasses here are on clearance right now. For $22, this is new. They really should have had this out at the beginning of spring slash summer, but it is a picnic storage caddy. Hold all your silverware, plates, napkins, condiments, etc. I guess it's not too late to buy this though. The weather, the weather's still nice for some fall picnics. Oh, the cast iron fajita set is on clearance and going away $20. So this is your last chance, y'all. If you, unless you eat fajitas like once a week, this is your last opportunity to buy something that's just gonna end up being clutter in your kitchen, getting lost in some drawer somewhere. Okay, this, this could be dangerous for someone like me and my season of life right now. I am not the handiest person. Never claim to be, probably never will be. And now that I'm a single lady living on her own, when she breaks. If I bought this, I might just end up gluing my whole life together. So I'm a pass. Another new find, potential gift item for $40. We got the Leatherman 13 tool little thingamabob thing. I feel like 10 years ago, every male was getting this in their stocking stuffer around Christmas time. I know at some point, every male in my family at least got one of these. Okay, another giftable item and it's only $15 right now. It's these work lights with speed. Speakers. So you get two of them, you can set them up wherever you need them. For $15, I don't know how great the speakers are. Let's see, does, does it work? Nope, nope, doesn't work. But if you're on a budget and you need to spend $20 or less, that's a good gift item for a guy. All of the Christmas goods are out right now. This tree here, how big is it? This 7.5 foot tree right here is $500, has the lights built into it. What is this? This is probably a 10 foot tree here for $700. It is beautiful. Oh, not 10 foot. It is a nine foot tree for $700. And if you feel the need to transform your house into Santa's workshop, they have a 12 foot tree right here for $1,150. By $1,150, I mean $1,150. I don't even know how you would decorate that. I mean, even with a ladder, I, I know I would injure myself. I could never. For $65, they have some tree collars, either gold or silver. For $160, they have entire tree decorating kits. They have this one with, I don't even know what, what these things are called, but they're pretty flower things. And then a more traditional red and green one. And it looks like they have some unique 
ornaments on there. It's not just plain Jane ornaments. This probably looks a lot nicer than my tree is going to look because it is much more cohesive, but I, I personally kind of like all the kitschy random little ornaments thrown onto a tree. Looks like trash, but I like it when each ornament has some sort of sentimental value to me. And then for $20, they have these massive ornaments. $60, they have a variety of Christmas wreaths. For $30, we got some fancy papyrus brand. So yes, very bougie fancy, 24 handcrafted greeting cards. They have a little booklet here so you can see just how beautiful and intricate they are. Yeah, these are really nice cards. But yes, 24 for $30. So is it a lot more expensive than like the group gift packs of cards? Yes. But one papyrus card, I feel like at CVS or Target or something can run you six-ish plus dollars. So you're basically paying like $1.25 for each of these cards, buying it in the pack here. And they're very nice. $9 for this big box of bows, $8.50. For this ribbon here, we got some gift wrap, $17 for a three pack. And while $17 for three rolls seems like a lot, they are very, you can't really tell, but they are very thick, hefty rolls that are double-sided. And this $400 dude right here is just interrupting me with his music. For yard decor, $280 for this little family of reindeer. We got this giant snowman here for $260. Little family of snowman for $180. We got this light post for $120. There is so much Christmas stuff. It feels like everything for Christmas is out right now. We're speed rounding it now just because there is so much decor to go over. Again, I typically get my decor at Home Goods, Target, Kirkland's, but there are some good options here. And they also have all the Christmas toys galore out. This whole aisle here is literally just Lego everything. Then we got some Star Wars stuff here. Baby Yoda for $22. We got mag formers here. You get 120 pieces for $100. I personally have Picasso tiles at my house, which is the cheaper version of this. I will have it linked down below. For $32.50, this is something I am preemptively buying. Buying, not this ripped one, but I am preemptively buying this for my boys. They have been so into learning magic and magic tricks. We have been watching Magic Camp on Disney Plus. Gosh, I've probably seen it 10 times now with Adam Devine from Workaholics. It's actually a very enjoyable movie, not only for my kids, but for me as well. But yes, they're super into magic now. So I'm getting this for them for Christmas. Probably gonna buy way too many Christmas gifts for my kids this year with the guilt of the family not being what I'd always dreamed and hoped it would be, but you know what? They deserve it. I'll save money in other places so that I can get them extra gifts. For $120 and going away once it's sold out, this is something I haven't seen here before, and I just sat in it. It was so comfortable. I feel like it alleviated my lower back pain that I didn't even really realize I had until I sat in it and it was so comfortable. Only problem is, as a girl with long hair, when I tried to get up, like the little crevices here pulled out about five pieces of my hair. So fair warning, it's comfortable, but will slowly make you go bald. We got lots of deck pillows here, these faux fur ones. I specifically like this one. It looks like real fur to me, but it is faux, it is only $15. Then these farmhouse ones are $16. These farmhousey textured ones that look very similar to what Joanna Gaines sells at Bed Bath & Beyond is on clearance and going away for $9.97. Last chance also, $17 star going away for your Pendleton packable outdoor blanket that I have shared and have loved for the last several months since we got them in. They don't have my favorite color left. My favorite one by far was this white and kind of pastel-y colored one. I would honestly probably get it if they still had it, but all they have left is this vibrant like Santa Fe red. Okay, I hate to be a hateful negative person. I don't think of myself as a hateful negative person, but when it comes to Costco clothing, I just, I just can't. When it comes to Costco clothing, I generally don't have the best luck. So we're just gonna skip over clothes for today. In the book section, there are 
there's some cool new finds. First, these advent calendars are something I haven't seen before. A Friends television series advent calendar. Doesn't look like there's any candy in it. It's just like mementos and keepsakes. Same with the Harry Potter one. If you have a kid who's super into Harry Potter and you're trying to reduce sugar, it just comes with mini books, mementos, and more. But as far as I can tell, I cannot see any candy or sugar. And each of these are $19. Then these are new and unique. How technology works, how the body works, the brain, money. I, I gotta figure this out now that I'm all on my lonesome. How food works, all for $10.99. I feel like I'm talking about my divorce a lot in this video. I am not trying to. This is not a divorce channel. Um, but, you know, it's it's pretty consuming in my life right now. So I'll try to stop. In my most recent video, I kind of semi-addressed what was going on in my life, but I wasn't quite ready to say the words yet. And at this point, I'm ready. It's been two and a half-ish weeks since I filmed that video and then finally had the guts to post it. And at this point, I'm... I mean, I mean, I'm obviously not good, but I'm a lot better and I'm at the stage where I'm just like, life goes on. No real deals on supplements right now. There's no real supplements that I need at this moment in time either. It looks like they're getting ready for fall and sickness and everything. They got all the elderberry airborne, but let's go over to the self-care area. Yay, my favorite razors are on sale for $10 off right now. I was planning on getting laser hair removal, but it's not in my budget right now, so I'm happy to get these for $20. New find for $12. If you want to Christmasify your entire house, they have these vintage press holiday hand soaps. They also still have these method hand soaps that are in aluminum cans for $16. On clearance and going away, we have this two pack of Invisible Dry Shampoo by Eva NYC. I use the Batiste Dry Shampoo that comes in like a brown color for brunettes so that I don't look like I have crazy dandruff. So I personally suggest that if you have dark hair. I, I don't trust anything that says Invisible Dry Shampoo. Every time I've tried Invisible Dry Shampoos, it's not actually invisible on my black roots. For $10 off right now, they have this Olay Enriched Total Effects Facial Moisturizer, fragrance-free, which I love fragrance-free, and Broad Spectrum SPF 15. For me, I like SPF 50 plus on my face just because I'm, I'm looking to do whatever I can to age gracefully. SPF 15 to me just isn't quite enough for your face. At least 30, I believe, is necessary for me. For $12.50 off, $34, we also have this Olay Retinol Peptide 24. Never pay full price for any of the Olay stuff here or anywhere because it's almost always on sale every other month or every three months. And if you absolutely cannot wait for something to be on sale, you can always take the risk and get it at full price. And then if it goes on sale within 30 days of purchasing it, you can go to the member services area and get refunded the difference. I'm really not going over previous favorites and purchases like in the cleaning and household area like I typically would. I feel like I've talked about those plenty in my other videos and I don't need refills on any of them. So please refer to my historical Costco videos for details on repurchases and favorites. After this video, of course, and then as long as we're doing this whole thing, like, subscribe, follow, share, whatever you gotta do. Um, it'll just make me feel good in this really hard season of my life right now. You can count it as your good deed for the day to hit the like button and make a single mom feel a little bit better about her life. $39 if you have a fur baby to spoil. They have a giant advent calendar for dogs that has, I'm assuming, balls, treats, toys, whatever that is, like a rope. Yeah, we got some, some little dog treats in there. How fun. It's huge too. There has been so much Christmas stuff, but we got some Halloween stuff again. For $12.99, they have this chocolate Halloween house, pre-built and ready to decorate. And then for $9.50, we have this Bakery Bling Designer Cookie Kit. 16 pre-baked cookies with icing, glittery sugar. It's nut-free and dairy-free, which is great. 
then, oh, this is cool. For about $20, they have these skull cocoa bombs. You make your own sugar skull chocolate bombs and it comes with different icings so that you can decorate. What a fun project. All the Halloween candies out. For $22, they not only have the standard king size pack if you're going to be the cool house, but now they also have like the gummy, yummy version of the king size items also for $22. Oh, and actually trumping everything is this right here, specifically because I love Butterfingers and 100 grand bars, and you get 30 for $20. And back to all the Christmas stuff, $17.50. We got these melting snowman hot chocolate bombs. Ooh, and there's s'mores hot chocolate bombs. That sounds good. We got the pretzel crisps. I love pretzel crisps, and the peppermint bark with the white cream is so good for $7.00. They got all the gift baskets that you could ever possibly need for anywhere between 50, 40, 70. The weight of my heart around the holidays is through a good gift basket. The individual snacks, I feel like are never actually that good in the end, but just the excitement and surprise and variety is enough, is enough for me. Also for $11, these David's Butter Pecan Melt Away Cookies, so good. They may have made every single one in existence in 1979 but you wouldn't know it they're they're they always taste the same nice and chalky in your mouth in the pantry section now this is new specifically at my costco these pop tart simplies they're not organic they just have no artificial flavors, colors from natural sources. I mean, obviously not healthy, but healthier than regular Pop-Tarts. And I can, just looking at this box, I can taste it in my mouth. I loved Pop-Tarts when I was younger, especially the strawberry frosted ones were the best, but I am not, I am not getting that. 650, I was very judgy about these pre-made packaged French crepes in my last video, but then I went and visited my cousin and she had gotten them and they were really good so i am going to treat myself and my boys and get these for us for breakfast they also have for 250 off 550 they have these chocolate french crepes is it the same brand yeah it is the same brand and they are already filled with basically Nutella, chocolate hazelnut filling. Oh, so should I get this instead? No, because I, I wanna fill mine with like bananas and fruit and stuff. So this is the one I'm getting, but they are very good. For $12, I have bought and repurchased this Rayo's homemade marinara sauce so many times. But last time I was here, oh no, and it's going away. I got this Victoria marinara sauce and I think I actually like it more than the Rayo's. So. I am going to repurchase this now. I put it either on chickpea noodles or fava bean noodles, just so it's a little healthier, less carbs, more protein, and myself and my kids love it. I used to get all of my apple sauces here. I mean, they're, they are good. I like that they're no sugar added. They have the fruit and vegetable pouches. They're fairly affordable, organic, but now I have been getting the Brainiac applesauce pouches from Walmart just because they have more vitamins and nutrients packed in. For $10, I have not seen this here before at Costco, but this is good stuff. The original Japanese barbecue sauce, highly recommend. For $15.50, these Danish butter cookies, like the melt away cookies I was talking about before, I have a theory that every single one of these cookies were like batch made at one point many years ago. They're never different. Like the packaging's always the same, everything. They're dry, hard as a rock, but they're so good. I mean, I don't care if they are like 20 year old cookies. If they're good, they're good. All right, repurchasing some faves, $10 for these no sugar added real fruit rolls that are made with just real dried fruits. $12 for the made good granola minis that we love. I just need easy lunchbox snacks to offset the complicated portions of my life right now. In the produce area now, I'm gonna get this two pack of melons here for about $8. For $12, I'm gonna get this 12 pack of Bartlett pears. My twins recently had their sixth birthday party and we got this cake and this cake, both so good. The leftovers are sitting in my fridge right now and I've been eating a little bit every day. This butter pound cake, also delicious. Same realm as the butter cookies and the pecan melt away cookies. 
I don't know what it is. Just like a solid block of carbs is everything to me. Last time I was here, I tried to be fiscally responsible and get these organic romaine hearts for $6. And yes, they are really good, but I ended up wasting like four of the six of them because I just, I don't know. I, I need to stick with what works for me, which is this easy $9 organic yummy Caesar salad. This is, this is just forever what I'm getting because I don't waste it when I get this. And I actually eat the salad when I get this, which is the whole point of it. I'm trying to be healthier. They finally brought it back for only $6. They got their delicious pumpkin pie. This has got to be another one of their loss leaders. They cannot be making that much money off this giant pumpkin pie, just like they don't make any money off their rotisserie chickens or their hot dogs or their pizzas up front. This is, this brings people in. So you get your $6 jumbo pie and then spend a million dollars on everything else. In the cold section now and realizing what I buy is probably gonna get pretty different with what's going on in my life. Ooh, this is new. For $9.89, this is an item I haven't seen before. First glance, I'm like, why would you need pre-made potatoes? They are so easy to make, but they got chicken drippings in them, a rosemary sea salt from the award-winning Roly Roti food truck. I mean, it looks really good. Potatoes are one of my vices. I love any and all potatoes. For $12.89, they have this pull-apart cheese bread, which I did get once, personal opinion. Not nearly as good as it looks in the photo there. This is new, $10.89. These like hot cream pots or whatever you call them are so good. The chocolate ones are amazing. And this one is an upside down pumpkin cream pie. All right, the sample stations worked on me. I tried this brekkie banana maple overnight oats and it was so good. So I'm going to buy it right now. Judge me all you want. The me from two months ago would be judging me for repurchasing this, but these, are so easy, they are so good, and I am going to repurchase them forever. Zero work, just pop them in the toaster, you don't even need a plate or anything, just once it pops out of the toaster, you can run out of the house with a handheld delicious American grilled cheese sandwich. For $20, these are our new, oh my gosh, it's really stuck in there. What the hell? <laughs> okay, let's try that again. These are the hell? Okay, these? are our new favorite chicken nuggets. I have been trying all the samples today and these were very good. I don't I don't know how much they are. These are out of place right now with the veggie straws, but these were really good. For $7.50, these are brand new and look really good. Snack and waffles, buttery maple, 12 individually wrapped. Oh, I love Belgian waffles. Ready to eat and already sweet. For $12, these morning protein bites also look good. All natural chicken sausage, cage-free eggs, sweet potato. The samples got me again. For $14, I am going to get these because I just tried them right there and they were amazing. Easy to make, gluten-free, not a lot of calories, minimal carbs, obviously lots of protein because it's an egg bite. So I feel like this is a good healthy breakfast or middle of the day when I'm feeling lazy lunch option. For $13, I'm gonna try these because I have a strong feeling that my kids would love them. They always like egg rolls and like taquitos and things like that. So I'm assuming they will also love this. Organic new item for $10. They have these squeezable smoothies. Let's take a look at the nutrition. I mean, overall seven grams of sugar, so not like a crazy amount of sugar, but I don't see a lot of vitamins, not much for fiber. So I think I'm, I'm gonna pass. I make my own smoothie popsicles with the leftover smoothies that I make in the morning. I have popsicle molds, so I'll just keep doing that for free. For $15, this is new to Costco, and I do like this brand, the Mauna Loa. I'm sure I'm pronouncing that wrong, but it's macadamia milk ice cream. So if you need a non-dairy ice cream, because I usually have to go towards non-dairy options. That's a good one. $14, another dairy-free option here that is perfect for fall is this Alden's Organic Caramel Drizzle Dairy-Free Ice Cream Sandwiches. I've gotten this brand before. It is a good brand. They sell it at Whole Foods for way more money than this. So this is a good deal. 
I forgot to get a video of my receipt, but it came out to be around $250 for this trip. Thank you so much for watching this video. To see some of my previous favorites and things that I bought, watch one of the other Costco Shop With Me videos floating over the screen at this point, and I will see you in the next video. Bye!